Hey, what's up everyone? Josh Quinones here. Okay, so I know tons of phones have been released this year of 2022. And you know, I have gotten to try out, you know, quite a few of them, not every single one of them, but you know, quite a few of them. And you know, I've come to the decision of what my favorite smartphone is for taking photos, not video, but when it comes to photos, I gotta be honest with y'all, the Google Pixel 7 Pro is currently my favorite, funnest smartphone to use when taking photos. I mean, it just gets it right pretty much almost every time. I would say nine out of 10 times, this phone is taking some amazing pictures, whether you know I'm taking photos during the day, uh, during the night, it takes some amazing night photos, whether I'm taking photos of my kids, photos of food, of cars, whatever it is. I mean, this camera just gets it done. It gets the job done. Even the most randomest pictures come out really good. Like last night I went to the store, okay, to get some medicine. I wanted to text my wife a picture of the medicine I was getting just to make sure, you know, I was getting the right thing. And even this random picture of NyQuil, right? A bottle of NyQuil, not sponsored, but even this, just this random picture right here came out really good. I mean, the detail in this picture is really, really good. It's crisp, it's clear. I mean, it's a good looking photo just for being a random photo. I know, kind of random, right? But I mean, the cameras on this phone just get it right, whether I'm using the main lens, the telephoto lens, the ultra wide angle lens. If you're someone who's looking for a phone, and no, this video is not sponsored or anything. This is just my own personal opinion here. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But if you're looking for a smartphone that, you know, you're someone who likes to take a lot of photos with your smartphone and you want them to come out good, you want a dependable camera on a phone, well, you can't go wrong with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. I mean, you're gonna capture some great shots with the cameras on this phone. And I'll put together a little montage so you can see tons of the pictures that I have I have had the opportunity to take with this phone right here. And you know, yeah, it's it's not perfect, perfect. There have been, you know, times here and there where it, it does miss a shot or the shot will come out a little bit blurry and I'll, I'll have to take it again, but that's very, very rare, especially when taking pictures of my kids, you know, my youngest son, he likes to run around, he likes to play a lot. You know, he's always moving around, a lot of heavy movement going on. And this camera right here just gets it done. From the moment I press that shutter button, I mean, it's almost instant. It takes the picture so fast, so it doesn't capture so much of the blur. It actually gets a really good shot. So if my son is running around and I wanna capture a good shot of him, I can just, you know, kind of run with him, boom, take the photo. And it takes a great photo. And I'll include those in my montage as well. But yeah, you can't go wrong with the cameras on this phone right here. And then when, you know, it comes to taking stuff out of photos, say you wanna take a picture, you know, of a loved one or even of yourself, you know, someone's taking a picture of you, but you know, there's other people in the background or other unwanted objects in the background. That's where the magic eraser comes in and it works. It works so, so good. Yeah, sometimes you'll be able to tell if you, you know, erase a huge thing, it'll kind of look smudged in the background. But for the most part, it works really good, that magic eraser, so you can't go wrong with that. And then there's just so many other editing options within the camera app itself. You don't even have to download another editing app if you really don't want to. Everything that you need is going to be in that camera app. So when it comes to my overall favorite camera on a smartphone, I gotta say the Google Pixel 7 Pro, I love taking pictures with this phone right here. And I know there's tons of other phones out there. You know, there's other phones that take really good photos like, you know, my Galaxy S22 Ultra. I enjoy taking photos with this as well. But I noticed that this phone was my favorite for taking photos when I noticed I'm carrying it around with me all the time. And it's my main phone for taking photos. You know, every now and then I'll use my Galaxy S22 Ultra maybe when it comes to the big family photos because I get to use that S Pen. But for the most part, this is my full-time phone for taking photos right here. The Google Pixel 7 Pro does an amazing job when it comes to photos. I don't know what Google's doing, but whatever they're doing, they're doing it right when it comes to the cameras on the Google Pixel 7 Pro. But let me go ahead and show you a full montage of a bunch of pictures that I've taken with this device right here. And then y'all can let me know what you think down in the comment sections below. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's really good? Do you think they're bad? Do you think it's just okay? Let me know down in the comments.
know, what do y'all think? Tons of photos taken with my Google Pixel 7 Pro. What do you think about the overall picture quality of all those photos? Everything was mixed in. The main lens, the telephoto lens, the ultra wide angle lens, daytime photos, nighttime photos. Some of those photos, Magic Eraser was used in them. What do y'all think? Let me know down in the comment sections below. And if there's another phone that you think takes better photos, let me know. Like I said, everybody is allowed to have their own opinion. You know, this phone's not going to work for a lot of other people. You know, a lot of other people are going to prefer using another phone that just works for them. And that's totally okay. That is why there are so many options of smartphones for us to choose from. And you know, it can only get better from here. You know, every other smartphone that comes out. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comment sections below. What is your favorite smartphone for taking photos. Let me know. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you did like this video and find it helpful, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is Josh Quinones and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.